Now we've got our SQL Server installed, let's start using it. Now, if I go to Start and I have a look through Microsoft SQL Server, whichever version you installed, you'll notice quite a lot of programs and you might be going, well, which one do I actually start with? Well, what we need to start with is a program called SQL Server Management Studio. And you can see the quickest way that I found it on my system is just typing SSMS. So if I now run this program, so here comes SQL Server Management Studio. This is where you do a lot of work with TSQL, which is your standard SQL Server code, the select statement, which is what we'll be looking at in the next few videos. This is also where we do DBA, Database Administration. So first of all, we have a connect to a server. Now your server name will be completely different, but what's important is it says server type, database engine, server name, whatever the server name you've installed, and authentication, Windows authentication. And I just click connect. I ignore all the other options. So hopefully you've now found on your computer SQL Server Management Studio. You might have to search for it, if you, especially if you've got an older version of Windows. Now, just in case you got to this screen, you click connect and maybe server name was blank. If server name is blank, then my suggestion is to put a period, a full stop, a dot as your server name, and that will allow you to connect to your local server. But generally, just accept whatever is there as your default. Obviously, if you are connecting to a corporate machine, then you know, some server that's already been installed, that's worth tens of thousands of dollars, then use whatever credentials you are given by your system administrator. So this is SSMS, SQL Server Management Studios. And let's just have a look around it. First of all, we have an object explorer. Now, if you don't see this object explorer, if it's disappeared, then go to view, and Object Explorer. Now this contains all of the objects that we are going to be using in this TSQL and in the DBA section of this course. So we start off with databases and if I expand that then we have system databases and any databases that may have previously been installed. You can see that I've got a few databases installed. But we're going to ignore all of my existing databases and concentrate on a new database. First of all, what is a database? A database is a object, a container that can hold other objects. It can hold data, it can hold queries, it can hold procedures, and in this course we're going to make all of those. So first of all, we need a database container. So what I'm going to do is right and click on the word databases and go to new database. Now we can call this database almost anything we want within reason. So I'm going to call it my first database without any spaces. So I'm going to leave everything else as it is. This is just a test environment. I don't need to concentrate on any of these tabs or other options that get really complicated very quickly. So let's just ignore that and just click OK. So once we've done this, in the Object Explorer, the phrase my first database has appeared. It's right here. Now, if I expand this new database, we've got tables, views, which hold queries, and in programmability, we've got stored procedures, and we'll be concentrating on these later. Within tables, we have got system tables. Within views, we've got system views. And there's actually quite a lot of them, to be honest. So all of this is just the outline of our database. It doesn't actually contain any data. So in the next video, we are going to create a table and we're going to populate it. We're going to add some data into it.